tons of fun. Exactly. Yes. Well, okay, to start things off today, we are with a country singer and songwriter who is taking over Opryland soon. <laughs> Daryl Worley will be home for the holidays. Welcome to Local on Two, Daryl. And we are so excited that this will be a season to remember. Tell us about this wonderful show. I mean, you've been in the business for nearly 20 years. This has oh, no, to be more than that. <laughs> well, you don't look it. But this has to be really exciting for you. Oh, it is very exciting. We we uh we had hints that we might be able to pull this off at some point, but I think seven or eight years we've worked on trying to get that sort of, it's almost like a residency, you know, and what I have said about it from the get-go, when they told me that we'd landed, I was just set back. I was like, you got to be kidding me, but it, uh, Christmas for us at home was always, um, we, we, we had a humble beginnings. We didn't, we didn't have excessive things. But mom and dad made sure that Christmas time was big. That was, that was, you know, and it was spiritual and just a, incredible memories from that time in my life. And I said, man, Gaylord has given me this opportunity to share that spirit of Christmas with people from all over the world. They'll come from everywhere for, for the show. So I'm super excited about doing it. It's That's going true. to be That's so, true. so lovely. Now, my friend, nearly 20 hit singles, three <laughs> chart topping hits, including Have You Forgotten? That was a powerful one. <clears throat> How, what does your songwriting process look like? I know that you're coming out with a new song coming up here in a couple weeks. Yes, we got uh, Tractor, Tractor Time coming out. And uh, I, I thought the day we finished the song, I thought if I have another hit, it might be this right here. It's just, it's just fun and it's kind of funky and, and, and the kids love it. Uh, but my songwriting process, oh no. Yeah, I don't know if you don't want to really know about that or not. We it, do. It's never the same twice. I mean, I get ideas. I love, I love going back home. That's one of the reasons that I moved back home is because I take a lot of inspiration from that place and from those people. Uh, it's always been uh, just something that just kind of fills my cup back up when I've gone out on the road for a long run and I'm just wiped out. Getting home is a special thing. So uh, that has a lot to do with it. In the shower, driving my truck, whatever, those ideas come. But I mean, we just go about it different every time. Sometimes the melody comes first, or maybe you just find some kind of a real cool groove on the guitar, and you think, I've never played that before. That's, that's going to be a new song. Uh, it can be a, a hook line or an idea. This Tractor Time thing, a friend of mine had the idea, but I said, you got to let me in on that, because I do it all the time. It's just about using the Tractor Time, the time on the tractor to just clear your head, you know, and, and people... All kinds of people do it all kinds of different ways. So in the second verse, we included fishing and golf and horseback riding and hiking and all that. It's, so it's something in there for everybody. And the kids cool. love yes, it. Yes, and I heard you said that your, your, your daughter listened to this and thought, you've got a hit, Dad. When she first heard it, it was like our work tape. And she said, turn it off, Dad, just after a few bars. And I said, okay, what's up? And she goes, uh, I don't want to hear that one until it's completely finished. Really? And, she, and I said, why is that? Because she, she said, I think you're on to something there. Mm -hmm. And she said, I want to hear it in its final version. And so she heard it the other night and she said, Dad, I'm telling you. <laughs> she said, that's the one. Ooh, it's, oh. just, it's just real <laughs> funky. The groove is just, it makes you want to dance. And, and it's kind of lighthearted. It's, about, it's just about finding your way to relax and going and doing that. So. I love how you said you get your inspiration from home, and that's Savannah, Tennessee, it correct? Is, yeah. Yes, which is also home to the uh, Daryl Worley Cancer Center. You're very mm -hmm. philanthropic. Um, you're always doing charity events. You played for American troops in Afghanistan. Why is giving back so important to you? It's just the way we were raised up. I mean, you know, our parents constantly even in, you know, my mother's last two or three years of her life, she was constantly said, don't forget where you come from, son. That's the most important thing. And so for me, it's always, uh, you know, down home is, is, is farmers and, and we're way out in the middle of nowhere, a lot of poverty in our county. So uh, I've always thought, you know, set up something with our, so the Daryl Worley Foundation is how we came up with the Cancer Treatment Center. But I just thought, figure out how we can give back and help our people. But it's grown now to we're helping people all over the United States. So That's such cool. a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thank and you had mentioned how important home is and how it was for you growing up for the holidays. So 
what can we expect for the show um, at Opryland? Are you going to kind of pepper some things that are very spiritual or meaningful to you and kind of bring people into your home? It's funny that you would mention that. That's I, I'm glad you did because I was going to bring it up one way or the other. We, uh, we have uh, all the shows already completely laid out, and it'll have hit songs from our list of hits, uh, you know, some of the fans' favorites, uh, and it'll have classic Christmas songs. But that was one of the things that we made sure, you know, in this age of political correctness, you have to clear everything up front. And I just told my management team, I said, I don't do Christmas without Christ. And so that show will have a significant amount of that. And, and I think it's a calling card because in this world that we live in today, uh, you know, I feel that we're all bl very, very blessed to have freedom of worship. And... To, to bring, that's the part of it I'm so looking forward to bring into to the Gaylord Opryland Christmas show is is that and I want people to know we keep Christ in Christmas. Mm. It's going to be amazing. We I think my daughter's going to come and sing. I, I'm not going to wow. give too much away. She won't be able to be there every night, mm -hmm. but this will be the first time she's ever stepped out on a big stage like that and done something like that. Oh. So I told her I said if it goes well, you're going to have to come every night next year because we'll need you to sell tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it w uh, uh, we have a, we're going to do tractor time oh. because it, it's the, it'll be probably getting spins on satellite radio by then, and I think people will be starting to hear it. So we're going to do that song and, a, and a, several of the hits. Um, Gaylord's using my song. Uh, it's called Just Around the Corner. We wrote it 20 years ago about being on the road and trying to get home for Christmas, and it sounds like a classic Christmas song. So it'll it'll be the show opener, and then. We've just got it all kind of laid out. It's, I think it's going to be an incredible. We, and we have vi uh, guests coming every night. Uh, we have Lori Morgan coming, and Dina Carter, Billy Dean, Andy Griggs, and, and uh, Billy Curran. I'm sorry, Billy Gilman. And uh, who'd I leave out? Oh, did I say Lori? Yes, you I did. I left someone. Oh, the Isaacs. They're going to be there the first wow. week, and I absolutely love them. So uh, we've been talking about what songs we're going to do together and all that stuff. It should be. Um, just over the top. Magical. magical. It really will holidays. be magical. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daryl. Oh, it thanks for having me. I really appreciate sitting it. Sitting down with you. Absolutely. We'll read more about his upcoming stay at Gaylord Opryland online and at DarylWorley.com.